Oh, hello. Steve Persh here, Director of Technical Marketing at Pantheon. I was just absentmindedly tapping away on this century and a half old telegraph key while reading a new blog series I have running on Pantheon.io. See, I've been thinking a lot about our new front end sites offering and how here in 2022, it fits on the long timeline of web development history. Looking back to the 2010s, that was a really noisy decade for us web professionals. Like, I thought the Alexa devices introduced in 2014, or maybe virtual reality would turn the web world upside down, but I, th I think the 2010s were more turbulent than topsy-turvy. A few years earlier, though, the release of the iPhone in 2007 really did turn the industry upside down because we web professionals had to figure out how to handle a device that could literally turn upside down or at least 90 degrees. Before that, we just had to figure out like the Y2K bug or starting in 1991, how to make websites at all. We can go further back than that too. We could go to 1984, the year Apple told us wouldn't be like 1984. All the while here, our computers are telling time by counting the number of seconds since January 1970, the Unix epoch. Also known as the month the band Chicago released Chicago 2. Great album. Now this amount of time is getting unwieldy here in my home office. Uh, going ahead to the year 2038, this number of seconds will be so big, so unwieldy, it's already breaking a lot of software and storage. Right now, we are 31 years into having worldwide websites. If we go forward another 31 years, that'll take us out to the year 2053. And I hope to see 100 years of Unix systems out in 2070. I'd like to see this telegraph key turn 200 years old, but, but that's too much to reckon with all at once. For now, I'd like to focus on what we can predict or know about staying on the state of the art in the 2020s based on what happened in the turbulent 2010s. Check out the Pantheon blog. Thanks so much.